Hi, my name is Dustin from BuildExact. In this video, we're going to take you through everything you need to know to get your BuildExact system set up for the first time, as well as touching on a few other things that are good to know as you begin to use your BuildExact system. Quick note that many of the things we're going to talk about in the first half of this video are going to be applicable to all the different uh, types of subscriptions we have. So whether you're on our entry, our pro or our teams, pretty much everything is going to be applicable to you. But there are going to be a few things later on in the video which are going to be uh, more specific to our pro and our team's plans. So to start off with, we're going to click into the My Business section and we're going to start on the Business Details page. Now, this page here is basically going to house uh, a lot of information that is going to let BuildExact automatically populate uh, both the customer portal, which will be related to the Teams and Pro plan, as well as any documentation, any letterhead, which BuildExact will automatically produce for you. So here, so the business details, pretty straightforward, where you can enter in your company name, any business number, uh, website, any licenses. Quick note that as of present, you're not able to change your registered email, but you can always reach out to us at BuildExact and we're able to update that for you. Further down here, we have our contact details, which is again, gonna automatically populate through for a lot of the letterheads. So very important to make sure you have your address and any relevant details there, as that'll automatically populate through for the various types of documentation that BuildExact will produce for you. At the top here, we see here, we have two different types of logo, the big format and the small format. The big format is used both in the build exact system itself on the top left hand side, as well as it'll pull that logo through to the different letterheads that build exact will produce. Whereas the small format logo is used pretty much exclusively for the customer portal. Uh, so quick note that for our clients on the entry plan, you won't see the small format and you won't see this gallery here. Now, uh, not in every case, you might not have a small format logo to accompany your big format. So quite often you can just use the same logo like I've done here. Further down, we have a gallery of photos here. And again, this just relates to the customer portal. It'll pull through on the customer portal as a carousel of work, just helping to sort of build it out a little bit more and give your customers a bit of a flavor, a bit of a feel of some of the work you've already done. And down here, we have our brand colors. And again, that's just gonna pull through for the customer portal. And for everybody else, we have our other settings. And this is just gonna pull through for things like tax rate, time zone, and a few other important details. Next year, we're gonna click on our users tab. And this is essentially where you're gonna be able to add in additional users by just clicking the plus button and creating them there. Now, again, depending on what type of plan you have, you'll have different user controls. And we'll talk a little bit more about the Teams uh, plan and their user controls at the end of this video. Next here, we have our subscriptions tab. And this is an important one uh, because within BuildExact, you're actually able to manage everything related to your subscription directly in the system itself. So you'll be able to update any payment details, view any previous invoices, as well as change and modify your plan. So if you want to go from monthly to annual or annual to monthly, you can do all that directly in the bill exact system here. Quick note on this is we do have a range of FAQ articles related to this. So if you do have some specific questions on that, uh, do make sure you check out some of our FAQ articles and we've got more detailed breakdowns. From here, we're going to go into our system setup, and we have a couple different areas in here. Uh, essentially, across BuildExact, there will be a number of uh, a number of sections that you can pre-fill, uh, and this is essentially where you'll build out all that information, just giving you uh, more from drop-down or pre-filled areas. So as an example here, we have a range of building types. So if you do a lot of common work, and specifically ones that aren't here, you're certainly welcome to add those in as you need to. Next, we'll quickly talk about supplier groups. Now, it's very common clients will want to edit these and add additional ones for, say, contractor, uh, electrical. But uh, BuildExact will actually use these different fields across the system to identify actually what that type of uh, contact is. And then BuildExact will then have some automation built into it, such as whether it's selecting the terms and conditions for the purchase orders, as an example. So what we typically recommend is if you do want to add in additional contacts, we recommend you do that under supplier types here, where as an example, I might just go ahead and enter in electrical and that'll then pull through. Next here we have client source. So whether you're creating uh, somebody from a lead or you're creating uh, a 
the estimate for the first time, you'll see again that there's a number of ways to document where that referral or where that job came from. Uh, and this is again where you can add that, edit that, and then those will pull through. Lastly, we also have client types, uh, not too common to be used, but again, uh, something that is uh, customizable in BuildExact. Next, uh, we frequently get questions about clients that will have uh, pre-existing information that they'll want to upload into BuildExact. So whether it be clients or contacts or catalogs or even previous estimates. Um, and that information is done on the various tabs across BuildExact here. Uh, in the comments of this video below, we'll include uh, four links that'll just give you specific articles and videos that'll help you better manage that in your system. Next, we want to go into the estimate. And we want to quickly talk a little bit about presets. So really, uh, all across the build exact system here, uh, whether it be in the request for quotes uh, or in the quote body here, a quote letter rather, we'll have a number of cogs here. And when we click that, this is where we can save these presets, which would be basically uh, a preset of text. Uh, and we can essentially then, once we save it as a preset, we can then uh, apply that preset when we get here, which essentially just copy and paste it within build exact uh, based on that preset. Now, you don't have to set these all up right away. Uh, some people do like to build them all out when they're getting the ball rolling with Build Exact, or some people will build them as you go. It's entirely up to you, but just a quick note that you can also edit them here. You will see somewhere else in the Build Exact system that there will just be, there will be also just see the word preset, and that's essentially the same thing. Now from here, we're going to move on to the job management side of Build Exact, just to touch on a few things. So again, that's it for our entry clients, and we're now moving into working and looking exclusively at functionality related to our pro and our team's users. So here, I want to jump to our purchase orders. And on our purchase order, we'll have a terms and conditions that we can edit by clicking on the manage terms and conditions. And this is where you'll actually be able to go ahead and edit what shows up at the bottom of the purchase order. So you do have that ability to customize it for your suppliers and your contractor terms. And same thing as well, if I go to my outgoing invoices, I can go ahead and I can manage all my payment terms and just quickly entering that information in here. And I might want to put direct payment details, direct banking details, or really any other information that'll help facilitate payment nice and quickly. So lastly here, I just want to quickly talk about user access controls, and this will largely relate uh, to the clients on the Teams plan subscription. But essentially within our Teams plan subscription, you'll see that you'll have uh, up to six different predefined uh, roles within BuildExact, which will give varying degrees of access across the functionality. So earlier we talked about where to create that user, and this essentially does give you that ability to then uh, select specific roles, which again, will then allow that user to see or not see different areas of the build exact system, depending on that role. Uh, we do have a specific breakdown here. So if you are curious about that user controls, we do have a very detailed breakdown uh, based on all the different areas of the functionality and what each of those roles has specific access to. So certainly worthwhile. But again, this area here will just give you that ability to then create that user, uh, apply the specific uh, role that's assigned to them, and then they're basically set up and you're off and running. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today for this video, and we look forward to speaking with you soon.